Hi everyone. Uh, today in this video, I am going to discuss about one very important questions which is related to the quadratic equations. Here, the question is for the given equation k minus 2 x square uh, plus k minus 5 times x uh, minus 5 is equals to 0. Uh, such that the value of the k should not be equals to 0 find the value of uh, the k uh, so that the roots are e uh, real and equal in the second case is roots are numerically equal but opposite in sign here yeah, the solution is the given quadratic equation uh, the given equation is uh, here k minus 2 times x square plus k minus 5 times x minus 5 is equals to 0 which is quadratic in uh, which is quadratic in the variable x uh, this is the uh, given uh, quadratic equations uh, now we are going to find the value for the k uh, in the two cases the first case is roots are roots are real and equal in the first case is roots uh, of these quadratic equations are real and they are also equal the quadratic equations always give uh, the uh, the two roots uh, here the case is the roots are equal and we already studied uh, about uh, the conditions for uh, the roots of the quadratic equations are equal and the real the condition is uh, please remember this condition remember this formula or the conditions the roots are equal roots are real and equal if the discriminant part is zero the discriminant part of the quadratic equation is b square minus 4 times ac and this discriminant part should be equals to zero for the roots real and equal this is the formula please remember it uh, the roots are real and equal if the discriminant part b square minus 4 ac is exactly zero now here in this given equations uh, the uh, value of the b is uh, the coefficient of x and the value of the a is uh, the coefficient of x square and the c means the constant term now substituting the values now substituting values the value of the b is mm, the coefficient of x the coefficient of the x is here k minus 5 it is squared here minus 4 times the a is here coefficient of x squared and the coefficient of the x squared is uh, k minus 2 times c means the constant term here the constant term is minus 5 and this should be equals to 0 <coughs> now uh, this can be further written as or here k minus 5 whole square uh, uh, minus 4 times this is equals to 0 now simplifying this expression here the k minus 5 uh, uh, here uh, opening the bracket here uh, it is the whole square form now applying the formula uh, uh, for a plus b whole square uh, here expanding these uh, terms k square minus 2 times the first terms times the second terms uh, plus the second term square minus here yeah, the minus times minus gives plus the 4 times 5 20 20 k minus 2 is equals to 0 now this can be further simplified as k square minus 5 times 2 is 10 k plus 5 square is 25 now distributing the uh, this 20 to the both the terms plus 20 k 
minus 20 times 2 gives 40 is equals to 0. k square where the uh, collecting the like terms minus 10k and the 20k are the like terms this gives plus 10k and here plus 25 and minus 40 gives minus 15 is equals to 0. Uh, this is the quadratic equations in the variable k. So, the value of the k will be uh, 2 in number. There will be uh, 2 values for the k because it is the quadratic integer. Now, uh, now solving these quadratic equations, you can use any methods for solving uh, like factorization methods, uh, Dr. Potion's law methods or uh, directly using the formula for the quadratic equation. Here, I am going to solve this uh, uh, directly by using the formula. Using formula. Using formula to solve quadratic equation. The formula is the formula is uh, here uh, the variable is uh, k the variable is equals to minus b cos or minus square root b square minus 4 times ac it is divided by 2a now putting the values now applying this formula here the b is the coefficient of the variable and the here uh, the coefficient of the variable is here coefficient of the x uh, k is here uh, 10 this is minus 10 plus or minus square root b square b is here 10 10 square minus 4 times the a is the coefficient of the uh, square of the variable uh, the a is here 1 times c c is the constant term here minus 15 it is divided by 2 times a the a is here 1 after simplifying these um, expressions we get the value of the uh, k is a minus 5 plus or minus 2 times c square root 10 uh, this will be the value of the k here we solve for k such that the quadratic equations such that the given quadratic equations uh, has equal roots and they are the real also this is the final solutions for case uh, first where the case is uh, these quadratic equations given quadratic equations has uh, the real and equal roots if the value of the k is uh, this then the roots will be the roots of these quadratic equations will be real and equal this is the final solutions for case 5 now going to uh, next case and the next uh, case is here next case is the roots are numerically equal but opposite your signs and we know that uh, we already studied about the sum and the product of the roots in quadratic equations uh, I will uh, share uh, the link of that video in the description box and uh, here let's recall that the sum of uh, the sum of the roots sum of roots please remember uh, this fact in the quadratic equation it is always equals to minus coefficient of x it is divided by coefficient of x square this is the formula uh, this is very important things on the quadratic equations and the here the uh, in second number uh, the case is roots are numerically equal uh, equal but opposite in sign if the numbers are numerically equal but opposite in sign then the sum will be always equals to zero so uh, by the questions the sum of the roots is zero because the roots are numerically equal but opposite in sign if we add uh, the opposites numbers mm, then the result will be 0 
the negative of coefficient of the x. Here the coefficient of the x in this quadratic equation is uh, k minus 5. It is divided by the coefficient of x square. Here the coefficient of the x square is k minus 2. Or here. Uh, for this fraction, uh, uh, the result of the fractions to be 0, the numerator par, uh, parts uh, should be exactly 0. The denominator cannot be 0 uh, for the fractions uh, results to be 0. So, equating the numerator to 0. For this, or you can uh, understand this process by doing the cross multiplication also. If we cross uh, this factor, then and the k minus 5 is equals to 0. This implies the value of the k is exactly 5. If the value of the k is 5, then the roots are numerically equal but opposites in sign. See the final solution for uh, the second case. Here we solve uh, the this given problem which is splitted into the two cases here we uh, studied about uh, the conditions for uh, the real roots of the quadratic equations uh, the roots of the quadratic equations real line equal and the another one is sum of the concept of sum of the roots here we studied i will uh, uh, share the both the uh, links of that video uh, which were on the uh, topic uh, the conditions for the roots real and the equal and the sum of the roots i made the separate video on this topic sum of the roots and the real uh, roots are real and the equal conditions uh, i will post the link of that video in the description box first uh, watch that video and then you can easily understand this process uh, please keep watching uh, this this much for today thank you